credit to Central Arkansas. Coach Pennell does a great job. He's a great friend of mine. And you never feel good about games sometimes when you're, you're playing a friend and, uh, and it, it comes to a conclusion. Certainly I've been on the other side of it as well. So I thought they played hard and uh, never quit. Uh, I was hoping that they would kind of uh, shut it down there when, once we got up 20, but they did and they fought it to the end. So I want to give Central Arkansas a lot of credit. And, like I said, have great respect for their program and uh, certainly a couple of their seniors that we've had the opportunity to compete against uh, as, as throughout my career uh, at Southeastern, great players. Um, I'm glad a few of them are graduating, to be honest with you. Um, I thought that our, uh, our team, uh, I thought we were ready to play. I thought we'd had a, a couple of good days of uh, preparation and, and, and uh, ahead of today's game. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough game. Uh, Central Arkansas, uh, we had split with them during the regular season. They had beaten us at our place in early January, and uh, we had won a really tough game in Conway uh, a few weeks back. And uh, so we knew what, that it was going to be a tough one. I was pleased, though, we were able to build a little bit of a lead. We had an opportunity to play a lot of guys, which I think is uh, important. Uh, gave them a little bit of taste, some of our younger guys, a lot of, some, a lot of freshmen, uh, a taste of tournament play. and. Uh, help them along the way for their future, um, but but I was I was pleased. And I, then in the second half, I thought we did a good job, just just kind of systematically building our lead. And uh, again, give give Central credit. I, I was hoping that they would kind of throw the towel in, but they never did. And uh, they made a, made a battle. I just made us earn it down there at the end. But that wasn't all bad either. Gave us some chance to to work on a few things. So um, with that being said, I, I was I was proud of our team's effort. Okay, let's open it up for questions. For the student athletes, we'll start here with Brandon. Brandon Williams, Southland.org. Uh, question to you, Moses. Uh, you obviously enjoy playing Central Arkansas this season. Uh, two double doubles, and you fell a rebound shy of a third double double tonight. Uh, talk about your effort this evening and uh, what you see against them. Um, I really just bring the same effort every game. Um, uh, finding my spots and, and just hustling and, and trying to out-rebound re the, the guy that guarded me, so nothing too big. Okay, go over here. Uh, Hadari Jones, the Grudge Quad Media. Uh, Moses, it was evident that you were uh, much more physical than they were. Did you take, uh, did you know uh, did you make a conscious effort to be more physical down low, knowing that they had played uh, last night prior to, and so you knew that it was possible that they might be a little uh, fatigued or, or perhaps not? Well, like I said um, before, I mean, that's just how I play, uh, aggressive and try to be more physical than the other opposing players. So. Brandon? Uh, question to you, Mr. Veal. Uh, you had an opportunity to uh, see a, you know, an opportunity to split with this team. What were some of the things that you guys were able to do tonight that you weren't able to do in the in the loss? I think tonight, Eric, we just had a, a, team, a real good team effort, and we just our main goal is just to win the championship. And I I, th I feel like everybody had the same mindset, and as long as it's like that, we got success ahead of us. This is for uh, Gamal Jones, Garage Department Media. Uh, this is for Moses and Marlon. As seniors, uh, what were you telling the other un underclassmen and other teammates uh, to lead the way in this successful day to, uh, game tonight? Uh, I mean, as seniors, you know, we all we come every day, as you can tell, as you can tell how in the way we play, we we play hard, and I think that translates throughout the team, man. They know that we play hard, and as as long as we talk to them, they, they accept everything we say. You know, we never tell them anything bad. They listen to everything we say. As long as we play hard and set an example, they're gonna do the same thing. So that's that's just all, that's just what it is. Um, I mean, we we like he said, we just play hard, and, and they just follow behind us. Um, nothing special. We go hard every day at practice, and and they try to do the same thing and bring the best out of them. So. A uh, question again to both you gentlemen. Uh, you're number two uh, in the conference in scoring defense, and it definitely showed tonight. You talk about you know, the intensity that you guys were able to bring and the ability to shut down a good UCA team this evening. Um, it's really all about pride uh, coming in. We knew that they was a hot, 
high streaking team and um, they had won like six, seven in a row. Um, knowing they were good from shooting the three and stuff like that, but we just followed our game plan and, and it worked out for the best. Mark? Um, like I said, we just tough and, and, and we want to win. And as long as we want to win, <laughs> nothing going to stop that. This should be the last question for the student athletes. Uh, before you guys go, uh, quick thoughts on uh, what you expect against Abilene Christian tomorrow? Oh, uh, a real tough physical team uh, trying to get re basically revenge from, from the, the loss that we gave them. Uh, but I feel like we'll be prepared. What was the question again? I'm sorry. Just about you thought Just about each other. Abilene. Uh, Abilene. I mean, they're a tough team. They, they beat us at our house uh, at a buzzer beater shot, and, and then we beat them at, at their place. So it's going to be a battle, and we're looking forward to it. Guys, thank you. Get ready for more. Okay. Jay, well, I'll open up for questions for Jay now. You guys can go if you want to. See you on that. Y'all make the coach says word up. Y'all want to get ready with that. Coach, well, you talk about the fact that uh, you're able to play a lot of players tonight. You had 10 guys who scored at least two points. You know, and just talk about the importance of being able to get those reserves, even the deeper end of the bench, into the game. Well, uh, and certainly, you know, you have to play each game as it happens. And uh, But due to the fact that we were able to build, first of all, we have confidence in our depth, and we've played a lot of guys throughout the course of the year anyway. Um, uh, there's really not a player on our bench uh, down to the last man that we wouldn't feel confident going in there and doing his job. So uh, we, we've made it, we make an, uh, uh, a conscious effort all the time to try to get most of our players in the games. Uh, and it helped us tonight because we were able to build a little bit of a cushion there where, uh, you know, uh, that we were able to, to I don't want to say experiment, but to get some guys maybe that don't quite play as many minutes. And I thought they did a really good job, the guys that came in there played played well. We uh, we played five post players. All of our post players played tonight. Um, a lot of true freshmen out there playing at times, sometimes two or three true freshmen at a time, and I thought they handled themselves well. And I, But I think that goes back over the course of the year, them kind of getting thrown into the fire a little bit. And in, in turn, I will add, in tournament play, obviously, you know, when you're having to play back-to-back, -back and uh, that I, we were also being thinking a little bit about saving some legs. Okay, here in the back. The RC with the Garage Department of Media. So Central Arkansas shot 37 percent, not a really good percentage. Was there anything in particular that you saw that you did to, uh, to force them to have a, such a rough shooting night? Well, they're they're a perimeter-oriented team. And uh, so we knew that we, we needed to get out there, particularly a couple of their shooters. We shaded those guys pretty good, and uh, Unra still had a pretty good night. But we, I thought that we did a pretty good job of making him. Uh, I think he got a lot of those, not necessarily just late, but he got him getting to the foul line and fouled him one time on a three-point uh, a shot and so forth late. But um, uh, so in early in the game, uh, I, you know, they hit three, I think their first three threes maybe three of their first four, and uh, it was a little bit scary there, <laughs> but I said, uh, you know, I told her guys, just keep pressuring, keep pressuring uh, on both ends, make them work against us on, on, on their defensive end, and then down here, make them continue to work really hard for every basket. I said, I, I didn't think those shots were going to continue to fall, and thank goodness they did. Come out. Coach, uh, you have a pretty young team. Uh, can you elaborate on the responsibilities that you put on the seniors to keep your team together and cohesive? Yes, uh, uh, absolutely. That, that Well, first of all, you saw two of them, but we actually have a really strong senior class of leaders. And uh, a few of the other young men that, that don't have, that were not called here have done an outstanding job of, of, of leading our team. And, you know, we had kind of an odd mix. Uh, uh, we had a team that played for the championship last year, um, and we had a good core of guys back. This being two of them, Keith Charleston, obviously, uh, but but we also have a lot of young guys, and so it's really an odd mix, you know. And, and we don't have a, in fact, we only have uh, one junior, you know, on the roster. So it's uh, uh, it, it was it was critical, and especially the way that we we started the season, we although played an incredibly tough schedule, our non-conference schedule record was not real good, and then we opened up conference play with two. 
uh, we lost at Stephen F in a really tight game that we led a good bit of the way, and then we lost two games, Central being one of them on the last shot of the game. So we started off 0 and 3, but because of our, our senior leadership, they kept the team together. There was really no panic. We just felt like that we had to improve just a little bit. Everybody, including the head coach, uh, we had to get a little bit better, and that we would be okay. And so, really, really proud, and, and I have to give them a lot of credit for holding the team together when things weren't going so well. KJ, I think that'll do it. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate we'll y'all. Yes, sir. Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweet, photos, videos, hashtags. Let me share something real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.